my name is JT Kent. I'm one of the developers here at Cubicle Fugitive. And in this video, we're going to be talking about SEO fields and SEO meta fields for content items. This is important because we need a way to control these for items that are not pages. So for content items, they don't have an actual page, but they're sort of generated through code. So we need a way to control the SEO fields. So let's take a look at the source of this page. I'll drag on the source one second. So here we can see the title is complete news item. Um, the description is the summary of that news item. And also we have the OG title used for Facebook sharing and some other elements and keywords. So we need a way to control these as I, as I mentioned. So in order to do this, we go to content news items. We go to edit this news item, which pulls up the backend dialogs. Scroll to the bottom and there's an SEO service social sharing section. So um, this is a new title. Also, I'll write the description. And SEO keyword one, keyword two. So, to explain fully, the SEO title is what will appear in the top browser bar. The SERP description is what will appear when search engines render the result of this sort of this called the SERP description. And the keywords are sort of the keywords that you can put in the um, back end to sort of help enable um, the search engines to classify your page. And so we'll hit publish on this. We will refresh the page. You'll notice nothing has actually changed on the public view other than at the top. This is the new title. And we'll view the page source. And we'll search for the description. You can see now this is the new title. This is the new description. And we should have the keywords also. Here they are. So keyword one, keyword two. So there we have it. This is how we control the SEO fields for a content item.